Hi, second grade. How are you guys? I hope you're doing great. I wanted to talk to you about your videos for um, next week for science and social studies. So I'm going to get these together. I'm going to send an email with videos to watch as well as this one to talk about what we would have been learning if we were here in school. So for social studies this week, we are talking about people, seasons, and weather. And so first we're gonna talk about around the world and then we're gonna get closer to Texas. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is um, the seasons that are there. You know that there are four seasons, winter, spring, summer, fall. So in a lot of places in the world, there are four seasons. Um, I know that's hard to believe because we live in Texas and there's not four seasons, but um, there's winter where you get a lot of snow. It's really cold. Then there's summer, which is usually pretty warm, sometimes humid, sometimes not. There is um, fall, which is when the leaves turn color and fall off the trees. And then there's spring when all the flowers bloom. So Texas is really good because we have a lot of spring feelings with pollen and all of that. So we all know that one. Um, and it's also pretty hot here. So we know what summer's like. Our winters are pretty mild compared to other places. We don't get a lot of snow. It's not ever really, really, really cold. We have our cold days, but not like in other places. Um, so if you look here, we have these, these fun pictures. So there's some places that don't have hardly any seasons at all. Um, in the in Hawaii and in the tropical areas, those places don't have a big cold winter. It's usually pretty mild most of the year. Um, some of these mountainous places here have um, a lot of cool weather, not a lot of hot weather at all. The desert, like in Arizona and southern New Mexico, southern Texas, it's really warm and humid most of the time, not a lot of big season changes. And then in the Arctic, up in the top of the world, um, and also the Antarctic at the bottom of the world. Um, it's always pretty cold because snow doesn't all the way melt in both places. So it stays that way. Um, and I think it's pretty cool. It depends on where you are living. So then when you live in certain places, there are definitely more activities. Like here in Texas, there's a lot of good hiking. Um, a lot of good trails to go to, lots of different landmarks to see. Um, if we were to live in California or off the coast, maybe even closer to the Gulf, we would have, um, I oh, froze there for a second. So we would have uh, places that we could go and surf, or if we were to live in snowy places, snowy places, um, we could have uh, skiing. Um, there's also other places that people consider when they're living in one city or another, um, what kind of extreme weather could happen? So like my friends who lived in Tennessee, they had a tornado and tornadoes are something that they have to be prepared for. If you live in Florida, you have to be ready for hurricanes. You have to know how to prepare for those. Um, in California, there's always wildfires. Like every summer, sometimes in the spring um, or in the fall, depending on the time of year, there are a bunch of wildfires um, and those will start either by accident, people being careless, or sometimes it's lightning. And um, those are all definitely things to consider. So here, thankfully, we don't have a lot of like extreme, extreme weather issues. Um, we don't see tornadoes every season. We don't see, um, like when Harvey came through, we didn't get a whole bunch of damage like other places did. So it just depends on where you are in the world. Um, this map of Texas, right here shows us. So we are right about uh, here-ish. So if you look here, this thing has a key. Let's see if I can move it over here. This has a key. So it tells us mixed humid, hot humid, hot dry, mixed dry. So if you're looking over here, this is uh, El Paso. This is close to the Mexico border. It's very hot. It's very dry. Um, if you're looking down in here, this is closer to the coast. It's going to be much more humid. Um, and then if you're looking over here where we are, it's it's mixed humid. Um, it gets more than 20 inches of rain. I know I would agree with that. We get a lot, quite a bit of rain. Um, we don't get snow very much, but the mountains do. We And we have had snow before. So all of those are really awesome um, ways to think about where it is you live and why we choose to live there. And that's what we were discussing today. So I will have some weather videos for you to check out and... I hope you have a great day.